So Leith here for Access Real at Supernova in Perth. We're in the last hour of the convention now. We're talking to Mark Brooks. Mark, how are you going? I'm good. Good. Tired, but good. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost, you're almost at the end. Yeah, I'm getting there. Did uh, Sydney go well last week? Sydney was great. Yeah? Yeah. It's uh, my first time to Australia, and um, the Australian people, someone asked me how I found the people so far, and I said, you guys are uh, Americans with accents. Right. <laughs> Fair so, enough. Very good. Um, how have you found... Um, a con like Supernova compared to some of the other ones you've been to, like San Diego and New York, back back home. Um, it's very similar. Um, yeah. I think that they're very very well organized. Um, uh, a lot of times in U.S. shows, because the shows can be so big and overwhelming, a lot of times as artists we're there, we're kind of on our own. Mm. Um, here they do a really great job of just making sure that we're taken care of. You know that we always have something to eat, something to drink. We're yeah. always made sure we're aware of where we need to be at any given time, and we're given escorts to go places. You know, to make sure we get to the right place sure. on time. So it's been it's been great. Yeah. I mean, I, I wish all shows could treat us as well. You <laughs> well know? That's that's good to hear. Yeah. yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about how you first broke into the comics industry? Mm -hmm. um, well, like a lot of people, uh, I, I drew as a kid, mm -hmm. and uh, I just drew every day, hours and hours. And I would, when I st heard about comic conventions, we had one in Atlanta called Dragon Con, which we still have. Yeah. And I, I would go to the show with my portfolio under my arm and go up to artists that were already working in comics and show them my work and and I'd get tips on you know how to improve my art and I would go home and try to apply those tips and I kept coming back year after year and finally I felt like I was good enough I started going to uh, to some of the editors for Marvel and DC yeah. trying to get work that way uh, and eventually got some work for some smaller companies and as it normally goes you would get some published work under your belt mm. you kind of work your way up I mm. went from uh, the small publisher to Devil's Due and Dreamwave went yeah. from there to Capcom and Udon yeah. and just kind of leveled up that way and eventually I got the attention of Marvel okay and um, were there any artists in particular that really inspired you that caught you or your, your eye that made you want to get in get into the industry yeah I mean you know back in the, the time when I was trying to break in it was the image days the mm. early image days yeah. so it was it was the big seven it was Jim Lee and Mark Silvestri and and uh, like Eric Larson, like, Colin, Eric Larson. Moved across mm -hmm. the, yeah, I yeah. like them a lot. Alan Davis was a big influence on me. Sure. Um, Art Adams was huge. So yeah, a lot, a lot of those guys that you'd find that were big in like, probably in the mid '90s. Yeah. Sort of, yeah. And you're at the, at the moment you're exclusive to Marvel. Is that mm -hmm. right? Yeah. That's true. Um, and would you like to to stay with Marvel for a while, or have you got any thoughts about IDW or Image or anyone else at the? You're just happy at Marvel for a while? Uh, yeah, I'm happy at Marvel right now. I mean, yeah. Marvel's treated me really, really well. Uh, I've, I've gotten to work on some really, really fun things. i got yeah. some really fun things coming up as well. Uh, but just like a lot of people, I have some my own ideas um, for my own creator own work that hopefully at some point um, in the future I'll get to apply yeah. um, and have some ideas, whether it'll be at IDW or Image or if I take it online or, or whatever I decide to do, I haven't decided yet. But um, but yeah, I mean that that that's in the cards. But for I mean, now, Image is doing a lot for, for creator owned content mm -hmm. now. There really there's really quite a movement there. Oh, without a doubt, yeah. and they're actually getting some good competition from uh, from people like uh, Boom yep. and IDW yep. with yep. That, that are offering some really great uh, incentives for creator owned work. Yeah. yeah. Um, now with the, the rise of digital distribution and e comics things mm -hmm. like that, how do you do you find creatively that has much of an impact in terms of um, in terms of your work, knowing that it's going to have to to be distributed digitally mm -hmm. as well as in paperback, does that change how you do your panels? And, and no, it really um, does. I mean, no. luckily, uh, you know, working for Marvel, our, our our the comics are delivered digitally and in print the same yeah. day. Yeah. Um, I, I get the script and I draw the comic in the same format I would normally, and pretty much let Comicsology and Marvel worry about how they're going to you know, yeah, it or, cut yeah, it up or yeah. whatever yeah. they're going to do. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I'm sure I will run into that problem when I start doing self-publishing. But right now, it's not really, yeah. my, not really, you know, something I have to worry about. Yeah, and some, sometimes we we read a little bit here and there about things like editorial control, um, mm -hmm. which is, might have an impact on a writer, that sort of thing. Do, does that sort of issue influence an artist at all? Does that come across to how? Characters yeah. drawn on the page, and that it does. Yeah. I mean, it, it all depends on the on the editor. Um, some editors are more hands on than others. Um, there, there, there should be there's a fine line between um, between uh, uh, giving healthy notes and interfering. Um, an editor, they always say that an editor is is like air traffic control. Um, they're there to make sure all the planes are flying smoothly and landing the way they're supposed to land. Yeah. 
uh, without crashing into each other. So that that's a that, that's a good editor. So yeah, they'll 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 add their notes when they need to be uh, when need be. They'll they'll correct things when need be. Like you know, I, like on Captain America's newest costume, are the are the ears his little feathers? Do they are they plastered down like a paint job, or they stick up? An editor will yeah. check that for you and make yeah. sure. You, you're getting it correct, yeah. and that—that's—that's that's what they're there for, um, mm -hmm. just, and just to make sure that you're following the script and doing what you're supposed to do. So, um, yeah, I, don't, I haven't really had much of a problem. Okay. Yeah, okay. You know, that area. And of course, you've worked on a few different characters like uh, Cable, Deadpool, mm -hmm. um, and X-Men. Do you have a preference of the team-up books over the the solo character books, or are you happy with? Um, with anything really? When the book is done, I like a team book. <laughs> yeah. Um, working yeah. on the book. Team books are the hardest thing you can do right. because there's just such a, a, a huge cast of characters and you gotta make sure you get them right repeatedly over and over yeah. again. You know, you do Spider-Man, you're worrying about Spider-Man and a small cast of characters and maybe a, a bad guy or two. Mm. But yeah, team books are... Does it take you a lot longer to, to it get It does, through? it does yeah. take it does take longer. But they're in the end, they're more fun because they're more varied. I mean, you work on Spider-Man, you'll draw Spider-Man a few dozen times per issue. You know, you work on X-Men, you, you know, just when you get bored of drawing Rogue, you get to draw Wolverine, you yeah. know, so it's yeah. kind of fun to vary it up. Sure. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Sideshow Collectibles are doing mm -hmm. a series of statues based on um, some of your artwork. Mm -hmm. Is that, when did you find out about that? That was, was that exciting to you? Or? Yeah, it was really exciting. Yeah. That's been going on for a few years now. Yeah. Um, I, uh, uh, you know, I, I met with them in San Diego and they liked my work and luckily I'd already met a sculptor who had sculpted a piece of mine just for fun. Yeah. And so him and I went to Sideshow as a package deal with this statue we had done together. And I think just based off that statue, they hired us kind of as a team. Yeah. Um, so, and I've been doing statues for them ever since. I've only had three come out so far. Sure. Um, but hopefully they'll be... Do you know be... how many more are coming? Or? It's, it's all up to Sideshow. Right, so, yeah. 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 Um, I, I, I know the next one, I think it's been pretty revealed, the next one was uh, is, is going to be Phoenix. Um, if we can, yeah. you know, get yeah. it through. And, and okay. th there's some logistics that go along with that statue that are a little difficult, but right. hopefully we well, can hopefully get them worked it works out. out. Yeah. Uh, now, I love to ask the guys that are working in the industry with um, the number of, uh, you know, the movement in movies to be, mm -hmm. to, be, to be mining comics for ideas and all mm -hmm. the superhero films. I'd be very interested to know what are some of your favorite superhero based movies or comic book based movies and, and the ones that you think are, are translating the characters as they should be? Uh, some of your favorites. You know, and, and, and not to not to blow the, the horn of the company I work for, but I think Marvel is, is killing it right yeah, now. Yeah. Um, I think Iron Man quintessentially is the the best comic movie that's ever been put out yeah. so far. I know some people are going to, it's arguably, I understand. <laughs> There'll be some people that very much disagree with me. Sure. Um, but I think the Iron Man, Avengers is... is almost flawless um, I'm one of the few people that not few people but I'm one of the people that Iron Man 3 I thought was just amazing yeah, loved yeah, it yeah. Uh, yeah so you know I, I've, I've got to give it to Marvel right now mm. they're, they're they're killing it I love the Batman franchise though sure. I, I think uh, especially uh, Dark Knight Rise not Dark Knight Rises but um, uh, Dark Knight the second one yeah, the Joker yeah, one yeah, the, the Joker yeah, movie yeah. let's call it that yeah. uh, was was stunning yeah. so yeah you yeah. know excellent Okay, uh, thanks for talking with us. No uh, problem. I hope you have a good time in San Diego in a couple of weeks, and I hope you've enjoyed your tour of Australia. Definitely. Great. Definitely have. I hope I'll be back soon. All right, thank you. No, thanks.